We have just arrived at LAX. You ate already. That is actually the casino. Do it! Do it! <laughs> we can drag another one over here. <laughs> My name is David Carrier. I'm a passionate entrepreneur who founded a business in 2007 with a multi-million dollar exit in 2021. I've been a global sales manager, manufacturer, CEO, private pilot, and now I'm semi-retired. My daughter Stephanie is a former NBA employee turned successful real estate agent. In early 2023, we started Quantum Fly Capital Group, a real estate investment firm specializing in multifamily investments. More than anything, we're here to show you that retirement is not as far away as you think. And we want to help you get there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. Okay, another day, another trip. This time, we have just arrived at LAX. And we're on our way tomorrow to board the Norwegian Bliss for a seven-day cruise to the uh, Mexican Riviera. So here we are, LA. I got the glasses on. I got the chapeau. I'm ready to go. Come on. Okay, we're on the Catalina Express jet boat, heading out to Catalina Island. There's the carnival. We're farther up in San Pedro, so we'll be heading out to the ship tomorrow. But for now, we'll spend the afternoon in Catalina. It should be fun. So here it is, Catalina Island, pretty great view here, we just came in on that boat back there, I can't see it, can see it way back there, and man, good day, storms are finally abated here in Southern California, probably because they know that Dave Verona is here. That's, that's what I'm thinking. The player is here, and uh, we're here at uh, beautiful Catalina. It's a, it's a good day. Okay, out in the distance. That is actually the casino, I am told. And now you can see the Catalina Express, just the back of it. Right there in the distance. Where we came in. Cool day. Cool little town here, Avalon, on Catalina Island. My first time here. So it's a an interesting interesting little trip today.
Okay, so here's a little downtown area. Oh, look at that double D car rentals. You can run a golf cart. We could play through. <laughs> little uh, golf joke there. Oh, we got time. Maybe a rum bus or something. Yeah. <laughs> beer, beer bus, yeah. rum bus. Yeah, whatever it takes. Margarita. Oh, there's your olive oil, Carol. Okay, we're walking down the main drag here in Avalon, and we're shopping for olive oil and uh, various other souvenirs. I don't know why. Very, very difficult to pass by. Hey everybody, here we are once again on our first stop on the cruise. We've actually been on the ship for two days now, um, but this is the first stop. And the first stop is beautiful Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And we're here sitting in port, waiting to walk and do our thing today, uh, which I think we're going to kind of do our own independent thing, see how that works out. Um, we didn't really care too much for all the timing on the, on the uh, excursions. So, let's take a little peek here to our wonderful balcony out here, as usual, and there we have it. We're on the port side of the ship, so the ship is pulled straight into the dock, and we happen to be facing the land, and then, of course, star starboard side is facing the water. Right next to us is a princess ship, Princess Cruises, I can't remember her name, but uh, it's, it's on just the other side, uh, against the other port against the other dock. It's amazing how they are able to put these ships in these tiny little ports, in these tiny little slots, uh, but they pull it off. Let's see what Puerto Vallarta is like. It's our first time in Puerto Vallarta, and uh, we hope you enjoy it with us. Come on along. Okay, as usual, we don't need no stinking uh, excursions. We, we've, uh, we've hooked up with Gustavo here, and we are good to go. Are we good to go, Carol? Yes, we're good to go. Okay. <laughs> but we're, we're not we're going to, go. to Walmart. <laughs> we are going to get the super tour of Puerto Vallarta today. Not only are we going to enjoy the tour with Gustavo, but also with Dave Duro. So, got back up the tour guide. He does have he has he has the salty crew going on, so we're good. Okay, there's our ride. Here we are. Puerto Vallarta. And of course, every Mexican city has their own little bit of concrete artwork. 
that they decorate locally. Basically spells out the name of the city. And of course it's in the most geographically significant locations. Thank God our weather has cleared up today for Puerto Vallarta. Okay, here's the small naked boy on the seahorse. Of course he does have his sombrero. You see the sombrero right there on the back. Uh, the boy is greeting all travelers, welcome to Puerto Vallarta. See, it was a beautiful day overlooking the Puerta, which is out here, which I think is Spanish for Big blue water area. My Spanish is not that good. Oh, the best part of Puerto Vallarta. Riding through the port on horseback. because it works like an oven, old-fashioned pit. This kind of pit, we are not the only one in the world. We're outside, pull up a row, we'll go round and around. Yes, we still use them because we make artisanal tequila and it's been used also in Arabia for all in all. Did everybody get the smashing? Got the smashing. Okay. We make agave and water and wait five days. So we do. All right? Mexican design the way to get drunk always. <laughs> so we wait five days. Commercial companies wait only 12 hours. They have chemicals to spit it up. Okay? Don't let that guy be out front. He can't be out front. I want some tequila. <laughs> I'm giving the <laughs> <laughs> This is for uh, destillation. Destillery and barrels arrive right to America with the Spaniards. They teach us how to distill. They fire water, appear the food, drink out of the juice of agave, distill it, and the first name was wine of agave, was the first name. Eventually, we took name tequila from Tequila Town because wine of agave sounds very Spaniard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, amigos, I'm gonna start it with some coffee tequila. Okay? Tequila. Salud! <laughs> Chocolate! Chocolate! Tequila and say through my lips! Here it comes! Tequila! Whoa, 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 that's ours, buddy. <laughs> okay, amigos, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your patience. Yay! Say hello to my little friend. People wonder, what do I think of when I think of uh, the Mexican Riviera? And there's only one thing that really comes to mind, this. These beautiful, rocky outcrops along the ocean. Just ruggedly gorgeous, particular rock. You can't see them, but on the other side of that rock, there's a bunch of snorkelers right over, right behind there. They're out there snorkeling. Man, this, is, this is the Mexican Riviera right here. I, mean, I don't know if you can see it, but way all day, all the way out here in the corner, there's just row after row of condo and buildings and all kinds. Of, and it keeps going all the way around. Cheese. Look at that. Uh, 
Beautiful backdrop there. Beautiful. Oh yeah, we got we got we got better than a camera. We got video. Oh no! Oh, he knows about that. He kisses though. I don't want to know. Oh, that's too low. That's too low. Oh, check him out, huh? He's like, I gotta do this again. <laughs> that is a black iguana, huh? <laughs> this particular product, you will feel and perceive an essence like whiskey, like bourbon on the palate. It's not a flavor. There will be an essence like whiskey, like bourbon. And you mm -hmm. will share only an exclusive with best friends, members of the family, in your holidays, birthdays, Christmas, or caballeros. Guys, get them. <laughs> Be careful with Añejo Tequila and Valentine's Day. Only an exclusive to ship. Okay, there is the Nogalito Creek right here. You can see. And here we are. This wonderful little restaurant right along the right along the creek. Look at that. No, no, that's good. Serene area here in Nogalito. Okay, final final hours in Puerta Vallarta. And it's looking like a beautiful sunset out there. And Carol just ducked out of the shot. The lines are thrown off. And we are getting ready to boogie. This is gonna be a very, very tight anchorage. I don't know how the hell we're getting out of here, but we're gonna see. We're going to have to avoid those fortifications out front. This is what they call the, the market area. Well, where all the ships come in, that's where all the, that's where all the high-end markets are. And then right as you exit the ship, we got ourselves a little flea market down there. We are we are gone. We are done. Gangplank is in. And bye-bye. Puerto Vallarta. Okay, we're gonna thread that needle. That is a super narrow channel. There's one side of it. See the, the buoy right there. The other side is not very big. I suspect we're probably gonna stand we're probably moving backwards. Coming up, part two of our Mexican Riviera adventure. Here, stay tuned in Mazatlan, Mexico. Yo, <laughs> I mean, this is this is Hollywood at its best. Come on, Dad. Really, you can't We're do this. A picture Dad. Of me, Dad. Everybody wave! 